I'm in Leicester today, and uh, this is Maz, who I've been uh, working with on restoring the EMS Symphony 100. But we're not going to talk about that today. <laughs> That's for another video. Uh, I'll link that somewhere around about here. Uh, but Maz is going to show us these incredible drawing machines. So these were made by Jack Tate. That's Jack right. Tate, yeah. Okay. And are all of these his, or some of this is your work? Uh, that's my work on his machine. So this is my version of his. Okay. And it's all just completely built from scratch. Yeah. Because of course, who else is doing this kind of stuff? When, what kind of, uh, when were these built? The first one was, I think, 1960. 1960, okay. He made like, 200 drawing machines or something. Yeah, there's been Amazing. a lot over the years. And he's gone through different processes of uh, machining gears and stuff. And then some of it's like off the shelf parts and motors from uh, Xerox, was it? Xerox machines. Xerox machines. And these are organ switches for selecting the different voices and stuff, electromagnetic. Coils and oh wow! Oh, yeah. I guess pens don't last very long around here. <laughs> no, that's why uh, I spent a small fortune on the recent. Okay, so that's how you set the depth. Yep, with a little scrap piece. Is it just the combination of these um, gears and linkages that is tracing this out? I do like a spirograph, but <laughs> in a these are crazy cool. way. So the moon. Um, okay, ah, oh, yeah, it's like an orrery. Amazing. And then of course you have the two, two um, arms. So you've got the combination of both is moving it. All right, so the so the bottom plate rotates as well. What seems pretty simple is actually. Yeah, there's three three influences on the direction of travel. I guess it's all predictable. It is predictable until we have this into the mix. So this is basically a sequencer. Okay, like a musical sequencer, but used to control the drawing machine. And you told me this, all of the all of these machines run off plus minus 12 volts, right? So, yeah. in well, theory... Yeah. Oh, no, they differ. Okay. So, um, yeah, the more voltage, the quicker they go. Sure. But essentially, they're all compatible with, you know, modular synthesizers and things. In theory. Okay. Okay, so you've got X and Y direction on them. Bed to fit. What was that? <laughs> okay, so this box over here is controlling the motors over here, and how this decides to do it is by throwing a dice. Is it? It emulates it the idea. Emulates the idea of throwing a dice. Okay, this uh, kind of plexiglass prism, which is going up against the limit switch. Here, and that's triggering the dice throw. Yeah, there's core filler on the it, so it breaks the circuit. So depending on where it stops, there's yeah. a random amount of voltage that goes okay. into it. Okay, it's hard to see with the glare, but there are a couple of like brass uh, contacts that go around that darker ring on the uh, on the wheel. I think there's. Do you see? Half filler or something? There's it's something, like fillers, right? Something on the wheel that is, you know, semiconductive. And the, I suppose the process of the machine actually working will wear away that material and change the resistance of it. I, I bet if you did a, if you did a plotted all of the drawings that it's done, the the resistance would have got the resistive track would have got worn away which would make the resistance higher, which would mean that the motor would move less. So you might see over the series of drawings that the drawings get 
less elaborate, maybe? I don't know. Have you ever left them going long enough that it's just an entire page filled with... Uh... Yeah, uh, part of the choice of uh, creating them is when you leave them, when you stop. Right, um, of course, You yeah. can literally go just a... Uh, an inch over it and it ruins the whole thing. Yeah. I guess part of, part of the idea is removing yourself from the process. But like I say, there's, there's only so much you can do that because uh, you decide the start and finish point. Yeah. Unless you develop a mechanism where it stops and finishes. Well, there's and finishes. A, that Greg and Scott point where he uh -huh. said, um, my music is an artistic collaboration between man and machine. Sure. Collaboration with machines. 